Hey everyone, uh, we need to talk for a moment because I firmly, firmly believe that uh, there is going to be a new 2D Zelda game coming on Nintendo Switch. Now I don't know if it's going to be this year, next year, I'm not sure when it's coming, but I do believe it is currently in development and I'm not even talking about the one that I thought might have been in the works by Grezzo, although it's possible Grezzo may be helping out on it. Let's talk about why. So, I dug up an old article from way back in 2017, where Eiji Nomo did an interview in the lead up to the release of uh, Breath of the Wild. And we largely have believed over the years that they have combined the handheld and home console team together. But the funny thing is, this interview that all of us forget about with our assumptions plainly states that the teams are still separate, even though they're in the same building. That the 2D internal, top-down internal Zelda team never actually went anywhere and is working on a game. So first let's look at this because this is fact-based evidence. This is my evidence, really the Brooks evidence that I have. But we have some rumors now coming out uh, from the likes of my good pal Game Over Jesse. I'll put a link to his video on this down in the description uh, that we're going to go over as well that might further provide so at least some sort of thought process that we're going to get this game sometime soon and some idea that's behind the game as most top-down Zelda games, most Zelda games in general, are built around a singular concept. Now, let's get into this article uh, and kind of revisit this from back in the day. So during an interview with the Legend of Series uh, producer, this is on GameInformer.com, I'll link to this article as well, uh, it says that uh, series producer AJ Nomo for our recent Breath of the Wild cover story, we had a chance to talk about his possible development shift at Nintendo. Since The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a massive project, we asked Anumo if Nintendo considered fusing the Breath of the Wild team with the team that worked on the 3D as Zelda titles like A Link Between Worlds and Triforce Heroes. Notably, Triforce Heroes was developed by Grezzo, but also uh, co-developed by some of Nintendo's internal staff as well. Uh, and he said, we, you know, we wondered if the studio thought this would speed up development of the upcoming console game. Here's what A.G. Anomo had to say. The dev pace is not really dependent on how many people are on the team, so combining them would not necessarily expedite the development pace. The 3DS team and the Wii U team have different approaches to game development, so I don't necessarily want to combine them and have them think together, but rather have each think about what they can bring to the Nintendo Switch from their own perspective. Uh, Anoma goes on to say uh, additional clarification, saying that the handheld development team will not be phased out because of Nintendo Switch. Switch will allow users to bring their home console on the go, but this doesn't mean handheld game development like the Nintendo 3DS will be discontinued. When asked point blank if there was a possibility that the 3DS Zelda teams are working on a new game for Nintendo Switch, Anoma said yes. We could stop there, but there, there's some context. There is definitely a possibility. Uh, so g going deeper into this, he says, there are definitely good things about the 2D world and play styles of the 2D world. There are a lot of fans who enjoy that style. This Nintendo Switch style, which is the evolved style of gameplay, is not necessarily... I want you to think of it more as an evolved style of the 2D style for the 3DS team. I'm trying to make them think about a more evolved 2D approach. Uh, so yeah, that is what... AJ Anomu had to say all the way back in 2017. So we forget about this, but he essentially said that one, the team is working on a new 2D Zelda game. Two, they're not combined with the Breath of the Wild team. Uh, three, he doesn't want them combined with the Breath of the Wild team. And four, he wants them to rethink the conventions of 2D styling. And so when you think back on that, that was back in 2017. So we know they've at least been working on something for four years, if not a little bit longer. And we haven't had a release since, except for Link's Awakening. Now, Link's Awakening obviously didn't rethink anything. Uh, that's basically just a different art style, like A Link Between Worlds, but in HD for Link's Awakening. Uh, and that was made by Grezzo. Now, again, Grezzo could be helping out on a top-down Zelda game like they did in the past, but the point is that even if Grezzo is part of that development cycle, the internal Nintendo team uh, is obviously working at something. And call in Link's Awakening, again, that's not really what this sounds like. This sounds like an evolved 2D style, trying to do something more, and what, uh, what, what happened with Link's Awakening was 
basically the same same 2D styling as A Link Between Worlds and Triforce Heroes. So, okay, so what could this evolved styling mean? Well, this is where we get into Game Over Jesse today. Game Over Jesse has his own sources who have been correct on multiple uh, Zelda announcements behind the scenes over the last six months. Uh, so shout out to uh, Game Over Jesse here again. Please go check out his channel. He's got a lot of awesome speculation about this and what this 2D Zelda game could be. Uh, but he, his source mentions basically one key important information for this supposed upcoming 2D Zelda game, which again, not saying this is going to be announced at E3, not saying that this is even coming out this year, just that, you know, this is an active development supposedly, at least I believe it is. Again, AG and Noah, you, you, you heard me say it, you know, you, that, that's, the, that's the, 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 the proof, as it were, that this game exists. But here's what Game Over Jesse's source is telling him. Uh, it's going to be a 2D and 3D game that uses elements of both. Of both. Think A Link Between Worlds, but more in a more original style. So if you guys remember in A Link Between Worlds, you could merge with the wall uh, and do 2D sections. Same thing with uh, actually Super Mario Odyssey, if you remember. Uh, you could also merge with the wall and do 2D sections. Uh, I think that that's obviously not the direction they're taking here. And one idea that Game Over Jesse brings up that I do want to briefly touch upon is the idea that what if it's a pseudo third-person Typical Zelda game, like we see with Ocarina of Time 3D, Majora's Mask 3D, you know, Breath of the Wild. and But you can't, you know, get a full camera pan up view to kind of look around. Uh, what you instead do is click in the right stick and suddenly you're playing it in top-down style. And it could be an item that enables this. It, it, it could just be a gameplay quirk, um, you know, a, a, a quick camera trick. Uh, whatever you want to call it, it's a distinct possibility that that would be one way you could do this. Otherwise... Beyond all that, it's just coming up with our own ideas on what a 2D and 3D game that uses elements of both could work uh, like for a top-down style Zelda game. Because obviously, the top-down style is probably going to be present in it in some way, but how do we get it present in it with more 3D elements and, and, and a more uh, perspective? You know, think about the Spirit Tracks. Uh, there was a lot of top-down elements, but then some of the boss fights were these big, epic very um you know 3d zelda like experience so these are things that have already been done so imagine trying to do something fresh on top of that also as ag no admits there's an entirely different audience and an entirely different design perspective that goes into these type of games that he wouldn't want to take away from zelda fans so we got link's awakening if the question is always what next and i have argued for a while that what if this game that was talked about back in 2017 is coming to fruition because the Ijeonoma essentially said that it's in development, but what now? And Link's Awakening, according to developer interviews, was not in development back in 2017. So if that team was making something back then, it couldn't have been whatever Link's Awakening was from Grezzo. So what's coming? Is it coming during the 35th anniversary of Zelda? We talked a lot about a 2D Metroid drop at E3. Is a 2D Zelda drop possible again? This is just my belief. This is my, my, my speculation. This is not a rumor. I mean, the Game Over Jesse stuff is factually a rumor. Uh, but the my belief that this game exists is based on an article from 2017, an interview from 2017 from the series producer. Uh, take with it what you will. I wanted to bring this back up as we're getting to that Zelda 35th anniversary time. And I'm starting to wonder, are we finally going to see this one? You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. This is more of a discussion video of sorts. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I am Nathaniel Rojas from Nintendo Prime. Uh, be sure to tune in tonight at 8 p.m. Central uh, time. We have a uh, live stream for you guys tonight. Also, over the weekend, I'm planning to drop a new Zelda video that rounds up basically every Breath of the Wild 2 rumor that exists. Um, tell you right now, I'm pretty sure that 99.9% .9 of these Breath of the Wild 2 rumors that I'm finding out there are complete bullshit. But... It's still kind of a fun video as we get into E3 uh, and, you know, just kind of looking back at all of the fake stuff, all the stuff that I, I, you know, might have some legitimacy or none of it has legitimacy. It's still kind of fun to round up all of that crap, throw it in one video. Uh, you know, th that, that video is the, you know, throw all the shit at the wall and see what sticks when we finally get some more information about the game. Again, none of the rumors are going to be things I subscribe to, but... God, they've been they've been floating out there for years. So we might as well uh, put it all in one video for you guys. Don't worry though, I have some non-rumor leak discussion kind of videos uh, in the works. 
Uh, one thing I'm debating I'm bringing back, and if you made it to this point in the video, I really would appreciate your feedback down in the comments below. If you guys remember, here's the news. Uh, I'm debating on bringing that back with a new format. I'll give you a hint. This TV in the background is uh, part of that format. Uh, I will probably be standing for those videos uh, and all that. So we'll uh, we'll talk about that as a possibility uh, moving ahead here. I just wanted to get your guys's. Uh, thoughts on uh, bringing back that series. If you don't know what Here's the News is, it is essentially a video we would do kind of in the mornings typically uh, where I would wake up and instead of doing like my morning video or, or, or whatever that I typically do, I would gather up uh, a bunch of news stories. Most of these news stories are very small stories. We don't really have a lot of big ones in there. Uh, and I would just combine them together and uh, do a video and there'd be appropriate imagery up on TV for every story that we cover. Uh, we'll get into all of the stuff. There'd be sourcing, there'd be all this, all this stuff on it, right? It would be um, a very highly uh, efficient way to get news out. There are other channels, by the way, that do this kind of content. So I didn't want to necessarily copy what they're doing. Um, and I know the set difference, you know, can, can, can make me stand out, but I, that, that's kind of the thing. That's why I want to ask you guys, do you guys feel like bringing back a here's the news, a prime news for our old school members? If you guys think that that's something worth my time uh, or if I should just keep doing what I'm doing now. Granted, we're going to keep making these videos as we've been making them. Uh, but it's just something now that I'm, I'm, I'm finding a groove here. I, maybe I can squeeze it in my schedule. Uh, and I just wanted to see what you guys thought about it. I know some people are going to be all for it. Other people are going to be like, wah, there's other channels that already do that. I agree. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to find that happy balance to bring in uh, some more other stories that exist out there that maybe aren't that big of a deal to make standalone videos on. Uh, so you guys let me know what you think about it, all right? I'm just, again, just coming up with the ideas. You guys let me know if any of them are worthwhile. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.